let us do a very very interesting sum the sum is if the work done by a body on application of a constant force is directly proportional to the distance traveled by the body express this in the form of an equation in two variables and draw the graph of the same by taking the constant force as 5 units also read from the graph the work done when the distance traveled by the body is 2 units 0 unit graphical part later first let's form the equation very interesting sum let's go step by step what is given what are we supposed to find an equation with two variables for that some condition is given what is the condition given the condition given is the work done by a body is directly proportional to the distance work done and distance are the two quantities work done distance assume one as x and assume one as y to form the equation right so let us assume x as the distance and y as the work done okay you can assume x as work done y as distance choice is yours so let x be the distance and let y be the work done now what is the condition given work done that is y is directly proportional to the distance that is x so what is the relation that we get y is directly proportional to x variation y is directly proportional to x to convert this into an equation we need to introduce a constant of variation so let us write this as y is equal to kx where say k is the constant of variation is this thing clear but what is the constant of variation given to us the constant of force is given as 5 units so we come to a conclusion that k is equal to 5 because k is that constant so what is the equation that we will get y is equal to kx k is a constant and k is given as 5 so we come to a conclusion that the equation will be y is equal to 5x the only trigger that you get here is once you assume one as x and other as y otherwise when you read the sum and only keep on trying to understand it you will never be able to form this equation so the first thing you do is assume one quantity as x the other as y then it is given directly proportional so you directly write y is directly proportional to x introduce a constant that is k so y is equal to kx k is 5 so y is equal to 5x as simple as that now let's form the graph let's draw the graph of this to draw the graph we need to form the table with x y x comma y now assume the value of that variable which is there in the right hand side we have got x in the right hand side any three values of x say x is 0 1 and minus 1 or 2 whatever is fine now so let's substitute the values of x to find the values of y so when x is equal to 0 we get y is equal to 5 into 0 we get y is equal to 0 the point is 0 0 when x is equal to 1 you get y is equal to 5 into 1 you get y is equal to 5 you get the point as 1 comma 5 when x is equal to minus 1 y is equal to 5 into minus 1 y is equal to minus 5 so the point is minus 1 comma minus 5 now let's point plot these points on the graph paper no need to show the calculations right let's do it The scale, normal scale, one centimeter is equal to one unit. The first point is zero comma zero, that is the origin. The second point is one comma five in the first quadrant, and the third is minus one comma minus five, which will be in the third quadrant. So first quadrant one comma five, origin zero comma zero, and minus one comma minus five is the third quadrant, right? Now you all can see all the points are collinear. so you can always draw a straight line passing through them now interesting what does x represent the distance what does y represent the work done x is the distance y is the work done so all the x coordinates represent the distance y coordinate represents the work done right chalo also read from the graph the work done the work done matlab you are supposed to find y when the distance traveled by the body is 2 units and 0 when the distance is 2 and 0 distance is 2 and 0 so can we say x is 2 and 0 because x is the distance so x is 2 x is 
we are supposed to find y. We can directly substitute in the equation, but then here it is given from the graph. So, from the graph, how do we do it? Let us see. After you write the equation, let us see how to do it from the graph. The distance is 2 and the distance is 0. So, for the distance travel 2 units, draw a line perpendicular from there, right? So, what do we get? Right? From 2, you take to that line and from there, you put it to 10. So, you get work done as 10 units. Clear? Similarly, for the distance travelled 0, the work done is also 0. So, work done is also 0 units. Hope you understood. From 2, you took a perpendicular to the line and from there on the y axis, from 2 on the x axis because the distance is 2, to the line. From that point to y, again a perpendicular, wherever it intersects 10 units is the answer for the first one and second distance is 0, work is 0, that goes without saying, right? Very, very simple.